Okay, so now we have our construction plans in uh, in in PowerPoint, which is a nice nice simple program to use where we can draw in actually where we're going to run the pipes uh, for the stormwater system. Um, so you see here uh, uh, two two slides. So so to draw the lines in. So there's usually in in the home tab again up the top of, of, of the PowerPoint. Um, there's t there's two functions I, I use quite a bit, or probably three probably that arrow as well um, so so the text box so the text box is handy so you just click that so it's highlighted um, then you can come down here and I'm gonna change the the, the the fonts quite large you want to sort of get the font the same size as what to say that you know the other writing is on the plan um, so to do that I'm just gonna drop it down to um, five just type in the letter number five um, and then that 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 shrinks it and then I'll just type in um, you know test something like that um, so so that that's so that's very small and it's hard to see so another trick is if you press if you hold control on your keyboard and then use your mouse wheel to wheel in and see it see how that zooms it in um, which is pretty pretty handy doing this design sort of stuff so you can get in exactly see so you can see what what you're doing um, so now, now I've got that just that that word. I can move that around wherever I want to put it. Um, when you're working through things later on, um, it, this is a very handy thing to know as well. Um, yeah, so you just move it around like that. Another um, another quick uh, keyboard tip is holding the Alt button. So if you hold the Alt button, um, what PowerPoint tends to do a little bit is, is tries it, it tends to try and snap. Um, lines and uh, along sort of different axes and, and things sort, sort of like that if you hold the alt button all of that sort of disappears and you can put it exactly where you want to put the word or the line or whatever it is you're using so that's just another little trick there that that alt um holding the alt key down so we don't need that right now so i'm just going to delete it um and we're going to start writing uh, drawing some lines in uh, so using this this option up the top, so that's highlighted. I'm just going to draw, connect those two pits up. So shoot a line across. That's that's done. I will zoom in a little bit closer so we can see. So that uh, control and the wheel wheel button. Um, so there's the pipe running, connecting those two pits. I might run another pipe now. I'm going to run it um, this way. Yeah. Being mindful that this is the plan view um, and, the, and the buildings actually, so we're actually looking at the top of a quite a large building as per the isometric build. Um, we need to run that that pipe down the down the wall. So to sort of demonstrate how you do that, um, how you sort of show that in the plans is you need to actually go to the um, isometric plans and use that as well. So these these particular isometric plans don't have the pits shown on the top, but you can still sort of make a good um, a good sort of estimate of where that pipe's going to be. So, connecting, uh, so running running that pipe like that. So we're going to run it something like that. So when you when you're running lines in an isometric view, you can also use the same uh, use the sort of the parallel lines to sort of demonstrate fall. So you can see that this this pipe's actually falling this way. Um, and so to demonstrate that fall, you can actually line it up against the parallel, and so it's got a little bit of fall, if that that makes sense. So so that that's exactly parallel, but we want to show so it's got a little bit of fall. So we're going to sort of make it like that, so you can see the amount of fall there. So we'll move this line back to about approximately where, where we want it to run, which is about there. Going from the going from the plan view, that's where about that pit is. Um, so yeah, we're going to have it run about there. Um, then we'll get another line and we'll run it down the outside of the building underneath the underneath the um, the, the, the building there um, under, So that that looks like it's an underground sort of car park. So then we'll, we'll run the line. We'll run the drain across um, the, the bottom of that the bottom of that uh, ceiling So say so something something like that uh, so that that's probably a little bit too much fall if you zoom in a little bit so you can get a get a better precise and then holding that alt key it really lets you be really precise on, on how much fall that that line has you can see there those two lines aren't quite connecting so i'm just going to bring that down a little bit 
there we go um, so now I'm gonna run another line so it just drops over just drops down a little bit and then I'm gonna run another line sort of straight down that pier because you can't have it running down there because that that's a you know like a car's gonna come through there so we're gonna have it um, running down this pier here something like that and then we can have another line run it down under the ground um, then zoom back out again so from that point we'll say oh yeah we'll, we'll run it sort of back I've got a connecting over here to, to this um to this this um, underground storage retention tank so we'll we'll run it sort of maybe something uh, we've also got pits over there to connect there's a pit there to connect so I might run it just just sort of here and then we can run another one you've, you've also got the option here to use that that line that'll do the same thing that table um, so we'll run it um, I think from memory you needed to run it from into that box but for the purpose of this exercise it doesn't um, the instructions it depend on what you need to do this will, this will come into play it's sort of some, something like that um, yeah so, so that's a quick example there the, the other benefit of using a program like this so, so say for example this this line here and then these lines here so they, they're actually they're actually under the ground so the way you can sort of demonstrate that a bit clearer is if you click on that line so it's highlighted when the the, the two dots pop up like that it's highlighted uh, then we can um, we go to outline and we go to dashes and I always just choose the same sort of dash line doesn't sort of really matter I always choose that one um, and so then that's now sort of demonstrates that, that lines under the ground um, you can do the same with that one uh, wrong dash line so I'm gonna go back to outline dashed like that um, and then you can, you can do that with all the lines that sort of that you can't that you can't really see so then that sort of shows that you know that they are they are behind a wall or under the ceiling or um, uh, like that uh, so just right click oh wrong one again go to outline there it is dashes that so you can see there where that where that pipe actually connects to that pit up on the top of that building it's actually running underneath that ceiling um, so it sort of demonstrates that again this pipe here is running on the outside of the wall so you wouldn't need to make that dash um, this one here will be dashed because it's underneath that ceiling then then it comes out exposed again down that pier and then into the ground so yeah so just just a nice neat way of sort of demonstrating how those pipes go um, if you're a, another handy keyboard tip if you're drawing a line um, sort of something like that or something that does happen sometimes um, is when you when you're drawing lines if you accidentally click on the actual picture on this snip that you've you've put in and you accidentally move it which can happen sometimes um, control and then Z so control Z undoes your last move um, if you press control Z again it'll delete that bit of pipe if I press it again it'll turn that back to back to um, back to a solid line so it's just the way of um, basically undoing your last move so whenever you make a mistake control Z it just it just takes that step backwards for you um, it's a very very handy tip um, yeah so I'm gonna, I'm gonna press control, uh, alt so I can get that fine movement again I'm gonna zoom in a bit holding control and the mouse wheel in so I can get this pipe exactly where I want it to be and if I hold alt you can see it you can sort of see how it's jumping around a little bit but if I hold hold alt on the keyboard I can get that really fine movement and I'll make him dashed as well yeah they can then uh, control and wheel out again and so yeah so you can see he can go through the whole process of connecting up those pits um, connecting up that silt arrestor back there to the system 
Uh, yeah, and it's it's a nice um, nice neat way of, um, of 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 drawing up a plan. Um, you'd go through the same. You you need to label those pipes to, through here as well. You'd go through the same process of, of, of that. Um, and and this can really be used in any type of application. Like this is this is talking about a stormwater design, but the same can be used in in stack design or water design or whatever design you're using. Uh, so so once you once you once you finish your design and you're happy with it, um, and you need to send it to the builder, the the quickest way to do that is um, if you're just going to send an email, it's simply share. So so, so click on that and share. I'm just going to share it as a as a PDF. So then that'll pop open your P, your your email. Um, there it is there. So and so this this is what you're going to um, send to the send to the builder or, or the architect wherever you're sending it to. Um, when you're doing things for submission for for the this course this unit, um, you need to save it as um, if you click browse and then just save it somewhere on your on your desktop so you click click desktop and call it um, say say whatever it is storm uh, what is it is it storm water markup just whatever whatever you want to save it as um, and then click save and so then back back to that file manager um, you can go you can go back to because we saved that on our desktop the most recent one always pops to the top if it's not at the top just click that date modified and there it is pops to the top and so so now you can actually submit that to a to a submission link um, in in Moodle or whatever the LMS is you, you want to submit it to um, that's that